Hi everybody, this is a video following a request on how to draw jungles. Okay, now jungles and forests are really good fun to draw. You can be really creative and it's all about layers, layers of vegetation, different sorts of plants and trees. Um, so to start off with, you're just going to have a little experiment coming up with various um, plants and leaf designs that you can use and layer one on top of the other to create your thick jungle. So I've just got to have a page here to experiment with, and this is what I suggest you do as well. Just have a little play around. Um, your traditional leaf shape is kind of an, a bit like an eye shape, really. If you want to do a simple one, it's almost like doing a sad, smiley face, and then a smiley face. Okay, sad face, smiley face, a bit like an eye. Put a line in the middle, it becomes a leaf. So you can play around with that, that's your traditional leaf size. They can be long and thin. They can be short and fat. Maybe like heart shapes. Whatever you like, okay? Uh, quite often you'll have uh, lots of spiky grasses. Some of these leaves here uh, with these bits cut out. Now, if you want to practice that, you could draw a big leaf in pencil and then add some lines in it like this. So when you do your outlining, you just go down those lines and it creates that really effective split in the leaf that makes it look a lot more tropical. Okay, so what I suggest is you, is you have one page just to play around with different designs here. And then you start off your new design, having this page just to look at and refer to. Now, I would suggest with this picture, you use a pencil to do some light sketching. And then as you probably realised, I'm a big fan of outlining. So have your felt tip pen or your fine liner pen and a selection of colours. Now I've only got two greens here. Um, if you've got more greens, that's brilliant. If not, no worries. You can play around with the texture and how hard you press the pen down and mixing colours together, okay? So don't worry about that at all. So with a jungle scene, you uh, are likely to have vegetation everywhere, coming up from the bottom, from the sides, and actually hanging down below. There's lots of creepers and branches and things that hang down from below. So I'm going to start off with thinking about... Um, a tree that's growing across my page and I might leave this branch here free to add an animal in later. Maybe you want to draw a toucan or a, uh, a jaguar, a leopard uh, or maybe some sort of fantasy creature that lives in this jungle. So I'm going to have some branches coming out here and in this corner I'm going to have some sort of plant hanging down there blocking the view a little bit. I'll have a different plant here, bushes growing here, bushes here, more bushes here. But I'm gonna leave the centre bit a little bit bare for um, anything else you wanna put into the picture. Okay, so let's have a think. If I look at this one here, I might say, okay, so my first plant I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use some of these really big leaves and I'm gonna do that growing, oops, over here in my corner. So I'm going to start off thinking I'll do a big leaf here. And then it's all about overlapping. There'll be another leaf behind it. Another leaf behind that. Maybe one hanging here. Maybe one like that. Okay. So you can see that this is a very, very basic sketch at the moment. Right? In the middle, I'm going to have some spiky grasses. They're going to come up here. And then... I think I'll use um, this sort of palm tree style over here. This is going to hang down in my top corner. So I'm going to start off with these big hanging leaves, add these splits, a few more here, coming out like so. So that's so far, I've got one, two, three types of plant. I would say that as a minimum you want to do six. If you can do eight or ten it will just bring your picture to life more and more and more. Over here I'm going to do some branches and I'm going to use this design here, these small leaves very close together coming out like so. 
I'm doing this a very, very rough sketch. You can see I'm actually pressing very, very lightly here. And that's because I don't want it to interfere with my final picture too much. It just gives me an idea of where things are. Then I'm going to do some creepers hanging down here. Breaking up my picture a little bit. Some bushes here and some bushes here. So I've got a very, very basic outline there. Then I'm going to start adding some pen outline. You could add the colour first and then do the pen afterwards. It's entirely up to you. But I'm just going to show you this quickly so you can bring it to life. So, my leaf here. And you'll probably notice I'm not exactly going over my pencil. My pencil gave me an idea of where I could do these lines. But if I change that a little bit, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so I've got one plant there hanging down. Over here, I've got this big, beautiful leaf here. And then behind it, these other ones. And I'm covering quite a lot of the picture here, quite a lot of the page. Building that up and up and up. I'll do a line in the middle. And maybe one more over here. And these leaves were hanging down in all different sorts of directions. Okay, then I'm going to build up these branches here. Sad face, smiley face, sad face, smiley face, sad face, smiley face, sad face, smiley face. A little line in the middle. And then all of a sudden my wiggly line becomes a plant. Sad face, smiley face, sad face, smiley face. And you can see that guys, as time goes on, I'm building up my picture more and more and more with different sorts of plants and vegetation. If I go over here, I might have some sort of bushy tree here. I'm just going to use this continual V shape here. V, maybe W, V, W, making these squiggles, which looks like a big kind of bushy, leaf-heavy plant hanging over there. Add some creepers, add some grasses. And keep building, building, building up your picture. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of color now just to show you how we can play around with this. So I've got my green. I'm gonna do my green leaves here. This plant is gonna be dark green, but also I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I'm going to add a little bit of purple which you can sometimes see in these very dark green tropical plants. So maybe the centre of this is going to be a little bit of purple. A bit weird thinking a leaf's purple but actually if you have a look at some of the plants around your house, if you've got any plants around the house, you'll see that there's all different sorts of colours within leaves and different plants. Okay, so that one could be my dark green. This one, this grass could be a much lighter green. And where I've got any gaps behind, I'm going to make sure I fill those with colour as well, okay? Because I don't want there to be any white page. If the page is left behind, it would show to the viewer that there isn't anything growing there in your picture. So you want to be filling in these gaps. And what you might want to do is do another sort of plant. Here's a really quick design. A little bit like the one in our Tropical Island video. Just got to do squiggles like this, like a little bush 
squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Put some dots on there. Maybe there's some sort of poisonous berries growing on this. Or maybe it's delicious food for the plants. Not the plants, the birds. And again, I'm gonna build that up with color as well. So I'm gonna come back to this and do a part two. Um, but give it a go guys, good luck.